Hi, this is Simon Upstall and welcome to another tutorial for Apple Motion. And today we're going to be taking a look at this swirling tunnel effect. Now, it's not especially fancy, but I think you're going to be interested in some of the unusual techniques involved in making it. So let's get going. So let's take a look at our project setup. I'm going with 3840 by 2160, that is UHD. I'm going with a frame rate of 25 frames a second and a duration of 10 seconds, but the duration can be whatever you want it to be really. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make a background. I'm gonna come over to add object to generators and I'm going to look for true shade tiles, this one here. And I'm going to select color two and just make it quite dark. So I'm going to go with sort of lead there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add distortion and polar, which creates this much more interesting circular pattern. And I'm also going to add blur and zoom blur. And maybe just set that zoom blur amount to something like 10. And I'm also going to add to this group a circle. So I select the circle tool, hold down the shift and option key, drag out a circle like that, roughly speaking. Let's make it, I don't know, 400 is probably quite good. And uh, let's make it black and let's just make sure to center it up. And then let's give some animation to our background. Actually, I'm just gonna make that color a little bit brighter so you can see what I'm doing here while we work come to the center for the Trochet tiles, the Y, select add parameter behavior and rate. And let's go with a rate of something like 0.75. So now we've got this rapidly radiating effect like that. It's quite simple and effective. And we'll come back to this later on, but uh, I think we're done with our background for now. Let's close that up. Let's make a new group, so object a new group. And into this group, we are going to add a rectangle. So select the rectangle tool, hold down the shift and option key and drag a rectangle out like that. Let's make sure to center it up. Let's come back to the shape geometry. Let's set this size to 1200 pixels. Come over to the style. So we want to turn on the outline. For the fill, let's have black for the outline white is good and let's have a width of I think 40. Yeah that's good. So what we're going to do with this rectangle is we're going to come to properties and position and x and we're going to add an oscillate behavior like this and we're going to have an amplitude of something like 350. So then what we want to do is add to this group filters blur and radial blur and this is what's going to create the effect so we're going to set the angle to 180 like so still not looking quite the way we want it to and that's because we need to come to the group and we need to turn on fixed resolution and now i think you'll see how the effect is working so let's add another instance of this so let's select that rectangle and duplicate it and let's come over to the oscillate behavior and instead of x Let's select Properties, Transform, Position, and Y instead. And let's change the phase to something like 2, and maybe increase the speed to 15, perhaps. So now we've got this interesting kind of contrary motion that's out of phase with our first one. Let's also set the blend mode of this to Linear Dodge in order that we can see the other one through it like that. And then let's duplicate it one more time. So right-click Duplicate. And we've done X and Y, so let's all now go for transform position Z. Let's increase the amplitude here. Let's maybe go for 450 and let's uh, increase this speed to 20. And now we've kind of got some interesting variation in there. So let's um, play with this a little bit more. I want to give some texture to this effect. So I'm going to select the group, come to filters and stylize, and I'm going to look for crystallize. And I'll drop it below the radial blur. And you can see immediately, I turn it on and off. Hopefully you can see that we're getting this sort of streaking around there. And it makes the blur a little bit more interesting. 
What I might do is increase that size to something like 12, just to make the effect more pronounced. And I think we don't really need any speed for this. So that is now looking like this. That's really adding some extra dynamism to the effect. So the other thing I want to do here is I want to make a clone of this group with our oscillating rectangles in it. So right click, make clone layer. I'm going to set the group to add. And then what I want to do is I want to add a filter to it. So filters, color and threshold. And hopefully you can see immediately that's given us these very interesting highlights there that I really think add a lot to the effect. You can play with the thresholds, but actually probably that default is actually working really quite nicely. So then let's give it all some color. Let's make a new group, object new group. Let's put everything we've made inside that group. And then we can use a colorize filter. So let's go for color, colorize like this. Probably not what we want. Let's uh, go with this, why not? And let's come back down to our background generator here. We use the default shape of diagonal lines, but there are other options we could try. So we could switch to arc. And for this, we need to just slightly adjust that zoom blur amount. Let's maybe go for five. And now you see we've got a, a different result. Looks quite nice. We could try dots. For that, I think we need more blur, so maybe go to 15 or something, that's quite good. Or finally, we could go for pipes, and that looks like that, quite like pipes. That's where we started with those diagonal lines, quite subtle. I actually think I prefer that, but anyway, it's really up to you what you go with. So I want a bit more contrast in this background, so I'm going to come to filters and color and threshold, and I'm going to set this threshold amount to 0.11. And I think that's uh, looking more interesting. So I also want to add a vignette to this group. So let's come to Filters, Stylize and Vignette. Now, if I were to increase the size and the darken like that, I don't know whether you can see, but actually what we're getting is an oval vignette rather than a round vignette. But really here we want a round vignette. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the group and I'm going to set it to fixed resolution and I'm going to make it square. So set the height to 3840. And you can probably see that that's made it circular and I think that's better. So anyway, that's the effect. It's not especially spectacular, but I think there are some interesting techniques in there that you can use for other things. So thanks very much indeed for watching and I'll see you again soon.